Hello! In this lesson, we're going to build some ladders. So let's get started. First, we're going to test the final mechanic. So I've added the ladders, their blueprints, and modified the character blueprint. Let's hit play. Go up the ladder. We can go over to this ladder and climb this right here. Awesome. We can go down the ladders as well. All right. So how do we set this up? All right, so let's create the blueprint for the ladder. So right click, go to blueprint class. We'll call this BP ladder two, and it's an actor blueprint. So click on that BP ladder two, double click to open it. We need to add a static mesh and a collision box. So we'll click add static mesh and we'll call this ladder and we'll just plug in the static mesh here and it was a metal ladder that I got from Quixel and it's this one I scaled it up a little bit specifically to fit this environment so we'll just set those scale settings it was like 1.5 1.7 and 2 and I had it rotated 90 degrees. Then I added a collision box or box collision. And I scaled it. I tested a bunch of different recipes for this. I scaled it so that the box collision worked so that the character could go a little bit past the top and then it would turn on and turn off the different type of movement. Basically, when you go into the box, you turn on the ability to only move vertically and not move side to side, because why would you jump off a ladder, right? And then you need a little bit of space so that when you come down, it turns off. I'd love to hear additional comments for what might be a better, a better workflow. What are we gonna do? We're going to talk to the box collision. So select the box under components, right click and add an event. So when you begin overlapping and when you're end overlapping, we're going to do operations that turn on and turn off a different movement component. And we are going to be talking to the first person character. So the drag off here and we'll cast to the first person. So I just typed cast first and then look for a first person character. And what I'm going to be looking for, I'm going to be creating a variable just called ladder, a Boolean. So just click in here. Well, just do it again. So click, type ladder, and that Boolean's been made. So we will talk to the ladder component. So I'm going to drag off here or set ladder. So I'm going to set that once you go into that box, you are on the ladder. And we can just duplicate this. So control D, because we're going to be using pretty much the same. So make sure you plug in both here. And when you come off that, you're going to be off the ladder. I also created a custom event inside the character blueprint that is called. So when you're off the ladder, it specifically says that you're not on the ladder and that it helps to keep the switching working nicely. At least that's what I found. So we'll go into the first person blueprint. We'll create that a custom event. Add custom event. We'll call this not on ladder. That's pretty small. So let me zoom in there. Not on ladder. So now that I've compiled that, I can call not on ladder when you're off here so we'll just drag off of here not on ladder so that'll talk to the it'll talk to the character blueprint awesome so this is pretty much done and then we need to add some nodes to the movement inside of the the character this is the first person character blueprint we need the ladder boolean and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be branching out from this movement input because this is this movement input that's default here. It works. And then we're going to switch gears to a I'm on the ladder set of movements. So I'll start by having a Boolean 
I hold down B and click, we'll create a branch node. Then we can add this ladder in there. And so if we're not on the ladder, everything's just normal. But if we are on the ladder, we can change the movement, some of the movement components. So I'm gonna hit Control D, we'll add the movement component, plug that in. And then we wanna set some custom movement. So the character movement, let's drag that out, and we're going to set the movement mode and the movement modes in the character component. Let's just click on that for a second and take a look. There's quite a few. So there's walking, there's jumping, falling, there's flying, which is, we wanna be able to move up and down so we can use that, but we wanna still constrain it so that it's only up and down. Okay, so how do we do that? Uh, we set the movement mode and we're going to set it to flying but we want to constrain it so we'll get the player character and we're going to get an up vector from the character get up vector and then we're going to plug that into the movement input so just this again and we'll plug this in and the up vector and so we also want to take the movement input, and I'm gonna plug this in to the Y axis over here. And then we can just notate what we just did. So I'll just select this, I'll hit C, and we'll say on letter. Okay, now we also called a, a custom function that was on the ladder. And basically all we wanna do is say that if we're not on the ladder, we wanna set the movement type back to walking. So we'll just plug that in and we'll say walking. All right, let's test this out. So we can drag our second blueprint, save often and drag this into the scene. I'm gonna hit G. This new one, hopefully we'll give it a try and should be working. There we go. We went up the ladder and ta-da, wonderful. All right, well, that'll wrap things up. See you in the next video.